City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez joins me now with more. Mayor Suarez, thank you for joining us. What is the latest information you have on a potential cause of the collapse? We still don't know, unfortunately, what caused uh, the collapse. There are a variety of different theories out there, including the one uh, that you just heard. Uh, you know, it, it's still too early to tell. The All of the rescue personnel are focused right now on a search and rescue mission. And so because of that, uh, they're singularly focused on that, and they're not yet uh, turned the corner to determine, uh, you know, what took place and, and how something so tragic could happen. Right. And of course, uh, President Biden is now calling for a federal investigation into the collapse. Might this help move things along in terms of finding why this happened and making sure that there aren't other buildings in the area that might similarly be uh, threatened? Of course. I mean, all the resources that we can get uh, from the federal government, from the state government, which have, have been abundant, uh, will be helpful. Obviously, uh, Surfside is a city that's outside of the city of Miami. It's not within uh, the city's jurisdiction, but we in the city of Miami have required and requested that all buildings that are built 40 years and, and, and later um, get an engineer to analyze their buildings to make sure that there aren't any kind of structural issues similar to the ones that could have happened and could have uh, that appear to have been identified in that 2018 report. Now, there have been some concerns raised about, you know, the pace of construction in and around Miami, um, and some question whether corners are sometimes being cut to keep up with the with the demand. How would you address those concerns? You know, this is a terrible tragedy, and we have not yet determined uh, what caused it. Uh, I can tell you that in the city of Miami, um, you know, we are we feel confident that our processes uh, are. Uh, the adequate processes to make sure that buildings uh, that are built in the city are not done uh, with any sort of, uh, uh, you know, corners cut or anything that would risk the life of any of our residents. Uh, having said that, uh, there are a lot of dynamic factors that can influence uh, the integrity of a building, and that's why we're taking what we feel is the appropriate step and the safe step to make sure that engineers are analyzing any building that's 40 years older or older and, and is larger than five stories uh, in an abundance of caution. Um, and I would imagine that a lot of our residents, uh, like residents around the coastal areas of this country, are tonight feeling less secure about the buildings that they sleep in. So uh, these are precautions that we're taking in an abundance of caution, but we think that they're the prudent thing to do. And in terms of these ongoing rescue efforts, as you said, Surfside is not inside uh, Miami proper. But what kind of resources is the city of Miami uh, mobilizing for the rescue efforts? We uh, compose one of two uh, Florida uh, a team rescues or, or rescue teams, uh, which is an urban search and rescue uh, a team in the state of Florida. And we were deployed uh, to the site uh, and we uh, responded immediately. We have been um, offering assistance since, uh, you know, a very short time after the collapse occurred. Um, and we were uh, and we've been on the site for several days. In fact, uh, we're on the site right now, um, uh, you know, in part the, the Miami urban search and rescue team. Uh, so, the, you know, we know that our officers, are, our team members are working diligently. Uh, they're working 12-hour shifts to, to try to find any uh, victims that could be alive and also recovering those that have, have unfortunately passed. Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, thank you so much for your time. Our hearts go out to all those waiting to hear on loved ones. Thank you again. Mine as well. Thank you.